Good afternoon, everybody, and happy national. Say sweet nothings to a watermelon day. Yes, they don't get enough credit. Watermelons are amazing. It is Wednesday, we have AEW. Yesterday, I don't even think I vlogged. I was so disgustingly wore out, tired, the smoke got to me, and did I didn't do anything. But we do got wrestling tonight, I believe. So we're gonna go home, I gotta get a few things ready. So hopefully our bed can come. I heard Mel's making something really disgusting tonight, so we will see. The air quality, if you watched either this vlog or the last vlog, whatever it was, uh, the air quality index was only 318, 319 in our shop today at its worst, which is a big improvement from the four something yesterday. Still hazardous, way better than what it was. And so the sun actually poked out today. Hope everybody that is near the fires are staying safe. It was nice to see that everything wasn't cordoned off at Wally World. You know, you didn't have to go through some trance and, you know, get frisked to go into the store. I brought this in anyways, so that was real comforting. Hopefully I get a check from the unemployment, or not unemployment, work share. I'd love to take my wife to see New Mutants at the daylight savings one you know it's not called daylight savings mainville what's it called day whatever it is the cheap showing all right let's get home soft opening for our school but I don't even know I don't even know if I want um, Kaden out and about in this nasty smoke I've only been out maybe half an hour and my throat's hurting I'm coughing and sneezing and I'm sick to my stomach because of this smoke um, I think Ronnie mentioned it on a vlog um, but I'm gonna repeat it that uh, the bad toxic air quality is like a little over 300. Dude, ours is at 400. So pray for rain. Pray for some miracle clouds to show up in California to dissipate the fires. Um, we're not nearby any fires, but smoke is toxic. And especially when the air quality is so bad that you walk out, you instantly get sick. And so, um, like I said, I think it's going to be one of those days. I have to clean because we haven't gotten our new bed yet. And I need to go clean my bedroom so we can... My bedroom's not bad, but I definitely need to clean up my side of the bed because it's a mess. 
Drex Shadow Kona Ice in the house. Cheers. Cheers. What was it? Ninja? Ninja Cherry and Grape. grape. Ninja Cherry and Grape. It is Drax Shadow Kona Ice. Mm. It's good. If you didn't see the last vlog, I'll put it in the link if I remember. Put it in the description down below, but let me show you the truck. This is the Kona Ice truck. And uh, she's the one that, whoop, she's the one that um, decided to help us out. And some of the money will be donated to Neuroblastoma Research. And so if you are local and you see the Kona Ice truck going around, get the Drac Shadow uh, Kona Ice. Anyway, headed on up to church. It's finally here. We finally, well, I have to tell you a story though. Oh gosh, I look sick. Hi, oh, and look, Caden's bedroom has Yoshi on it. This is his poster in front of his door. If you guys didn't know, Caden loves Yoshi. So there's that for his birthday, which is coming up on the 27th. So you guys got to remember that he loves Yoshi. He also has an Amazon list. Um, his birthday's on the 27th. Yes, I didn't mean for it to be secret. Otherwise, I'd be talking quiet. He's like, Mom, I hear you. Anyway, this is my bedroom. It is not as clean as I want it to be, but it's clean enough. But here's what we got. Let me turn this around. That being said, the people that dropped it off were very sketchy, and I did not feel comfortable. Do you guys ever get that, like, gut feeling that something doesn't seem right? So I made sure to let them know that I was live streaming on Twitch to, you know, so that way they knew that I was in front of people. And then I made sure I kept in contact with Ronnie. I just did not feel comfortable. They were really nice. They were really nice. I just had a like this instinct gut feeling like, you know what, let's just be extra safe and cautious. And they were both wearing masks. And the guy had like bloodshot um, eyes and it, there, it was kind of like all sweaty around his nose and it was coming through the mask. And I was like, so I want to Lysol everything down and they asked to use my bathroom and I said, nope, sorry, because of COVID, you cannot use my bathroom. Plus I got medication in there. I just did not trust the whole situation. <laughs> so, um, they built the bed and left. So I'm grateful for that. Nothing really, anything happened. I was just being extra safe and extra cautious. You know, you get that feeling sometimes. I got that feeling with Elijah when we first found out he had cancer. So I'm glad I took the next necessary steps because I don't know. I just don't know. And I don't want to know what may or may not happen. They probably, nothing probably would have happened, but I was just extra safe. Anyway, uh, there's that. What are you doing? <laughs> I told him not to put it over his head because someone with Corona probably sneezed inside or something. <laughs> but that's cool. Yes, represent, represent. That's awesome. Our nationwide bird right there. Hey guys, we are at Walmart right now and we just happened to walk through the Halloween section, not like the, 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 we're celebrating Halloween this the year. The miniature Halloween section. Yeah, the miniature. I mean, like it's, it's lack thereof. And most of it's all little kids. I doubt we're gonna even have any Halloween. I don't. I think they purposely not stocked a lot because they knew that Halloween might be canceled this year. So it's not canceled. He hasn't seen the bed yet. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, and I put the sheets on too on top of the covers, and they gave us a king sheet. Yeah. It came with a king sheet. They had the split sheets, yep. and then the key, king sheet on top yeah, of it. Sure. I didn't know that. I thought that was really cool. And you put the mattress protector and the sheets. Yes, but okay. Make up your mind. I'm looking for this actually. Uh, <laughs> there was another person walking by. Didn't want him in the vlog. Anyway, I'm looking for this uh, glass. I'm the only one allowed to use it. Why? Well, it's going to break anyways. No. I'm the only one allowed to use it. I needed a glass one because these are amazing for like microwaving and multi-use. So I decided to get this one. Um, I give it a month. Instead of the plastic. No, because if Caden or you touches it, it will break. So I'm the only one allowed to touch it. Hey, 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 hey. B-roll hype? What's that mean? You don't know what a B-roll is? Well, what do you want to do? <laughs> B-roll. <laughs> Bud? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I don't know. I've never used it before. <laughs> yes, or it's a pill that cleans you out, I think. Helps it. <laughs> yes. Ever see a marshmallow with caffeine? It's called Max Mellow. <laughs> I feel like this should be my kind of treat. It's a keto friendly treat, yes. Hold on. Um, has collagen, MCT oil, and caffeine in it. Keto, pe paleo, diabetic friendly, zero net carbs, and it's sugar free. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna waste five bucks and we're gonna taste test this. I don't know when, but we will. I seriously just want to stock up every time they have this. Well, you got four packs up in there. You get two more. Well, I... You get two more. Okay. They're always out. We're addicted to popcorn suddenly. We have to have the movie theater fattening popcorn. That's all have? that matters. Right here. That's all I care about. If we're going to get popcorn, we're going to get... Or there's the extra butter ultimate butter we have to have butter on our popcorn period it cannot be fat free popcorn it has to have salt and butter that's like our secret babe you look skinnier you are looking skinnier look at you okay so Kaden, we hate chocolate cake, just so you know that. Ronnie and I hate chocolate cake, but Kaden loves chocolate. This is 88 cents. I'm gonna make that for him, and let's look. Let's pick a uh, frosting, because his birthday's on the 27th, if you have not heard. So we got him a one and a five, 15 candle. Rainbow and chips. He loves, I mean, do, do they have chocolate flavored? Chocolate on chocolate? Chocolate on chocolate. I mean, Kaden is a chocoholic. Creamy milk chocolate? Yep, that'll work. Whipped, let's do whipped because that's easier to spread. We like it whipped. Hello everybody, and happy Friday. Yes, this is the first Friday. I have worked since March. It was an emergency thing, so I'm very, man, I look like an old man. So I'm so glad I work, but happy national. Drink it like you want it day. I really, I really, I really need it. That's right. Drink it like you want it. I am wore out. I am still used to working three days a week keep in mind I was working two two days one week three days the next then we got a couple times where I'd work four days and first day I've worked five so I am 
exhausted and I think I'm gonna take the little honey boo-boo out well man maybe I shouldn't have said that I'm gonna take the wifey I'm gonna take my bride I'm gonna take my woman my beautiful babe out to the movies I think how about that yeah let's do it date night this is bull crap. they open up they open up <laughs> it's my money we'll talk later now. we'll talk later we are at the movies and i gotta keep eating so i don't have to put my mask on you don't have to have your mask on when you're in your spot you don't have to have your mask on when you're in your listen, spot listen no, no. listen oh my gosh ronnie is so embarrassing he's like oh he's like screaming like <laughs> listen they opened up two days after my birthday you don't have to be sorry I didn't get my birthday movie for free. Wait, you this get is some bull wait, crap. You get birthday movies for yes, free? Yes, you get to come for free on your birthday. Don't Open up two days after my birthday. You should still be able to get it. That's right? why I asked. Can you not be so loud? Anyways, what movie are we seeing? The Misfits. Oh my I mean, God. you keep calling it the Misfits. It's not the Misfits. They're the new, the new, the the mutants. The new mutants. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you after the movie. We are done with the movie New Mutants. I am going to begin with the rating if it's between 0 to 10. 10 being the best movie ever, 0 being the worst movie ever. I'm going to go with uh, rating it as 1. It was an extremely high inducing, anxiety inducing movie. You have any type of triggers of your past life, like if of your past, not past life, but your past, if you have anything that, something that can arise, whether it would be, I can't even, I can't even say, I don't want to give any spoilers away. I can't even say. There were certain instances well, that sure can, fears. that can, well, there were certain instance, instances that are real life. And Many. my heart literally broke and I just wanted to cry because I knew those types of things happen in the real world and I was just like and so my anxiety was high the whole time and it was definitely inducing and not necessarily con uh, inducing anxiety inducing with Elijah it was more of this is way too much this is way too real there were things in my past that this brought up and I barely could handle through the movie. I held my composure. I knew I wore makeup, so I didn't want to cry. So I just swallowed. But I am the movies. The movie. There's a lot of parts that have to do with dreams and pulling out nightmares. I'm just gonna give that spoiler away. I had nightmares in my past, and they were not good. So it was very anxiety-inducing. So I'm rating it as one. I will never watch it again, and I probably won't watch the sequels if there is any. I'll give it a six. I thought it was going to be a little different. It's not what you expect. That's it, for I sure. Mean, it, it is a starter for these mutants, but your worst fear or your worst nightmare, but a lot of real stuff. And I didn't, it was totally different for me than her. We're was, so opposite on what triggers us, but I have a different past than he does. I was hoping that they were going to be a little more fighting, but they had to introduce it. But I'm still going to give it a, a six, six and a half. That's about it. It's just not my kind of movie. I think the the CGI was amazing. The Nightmare powers were cool. The powers. I mean, I would love to have those types of powers, the superpowers that they had. I just, it was, it was way. And I saw at the end, we stayed till the very, very end. At the end, they gave a warning. It said, all of these stories are fictional. They're not real. It is not our fault that some things are coincidental. That should have been put in the, in the beginning front. of the movie. Like, warning, trigger warning. These are definitely trigger warnings. And so I came out of the movie with uh, ang complete anxiety. A lot of things that have happened to a lot of people. Yeah, and yeah, knowing the, the yeah, knowing how this world is right now, my heart just went <gasps> it like grasped my heart and I don't know if that was their intention, <laughs> but I definitely will not be watching it again. And that's that's me. It could be some people can handle it, but not me, not me. We're going to go to a store real quick. Which store? I'll show you. Oh. 
Oh my gosh, the cuteness right now. She's all, I'm out. Never mind. Just kidding. Just kidding. She's out. Excuse me while I take a drink of water. I told you I was going to taste test those Max Mallows. So I'm going to taste test it. So let's do that real quick. Hey, watermelon fanatic. How are you? Look at me. I look pale. The overexposure, that didn't help at all. I was trying to focus it. <laughs> I look sick, but I'm not. That's what I look like when I'm a... Uh, that's what I look like when I am uh, no makeup, so don't judge me. Okay, so Max Mallows, full of caffeine. I don't even know how much caffeine are in these things. Nope. No. It doesn't say how much caffeine is in this. Contains coconut, made in a facility that's also processed with milk. Pour it down. All right, here we go. I don't even know. It is lightning vanilla flavored caffeine. Oh, 20, milli, 20 milligrams of caffeine per serving. Dude, I need like 600. I would have to eat this whole bag to have an effect. But, only 5 grams of carbs, only 4 sugar alcohols. Yes, I like these. 2 grams of fiber. Mm-hmm. I like these. You want to try it? It's a marshmallow. It's a caffeinated marshmallow. It's actually really good. I don't know if I want. Who knew? That we would have caffeinated marshmallows in the future. Who knew that? That might be the second best thing of 2020. <laughs> it's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> They're lightning vanilla marshmallows. That's not bad. 90 calories. For, oh, these are my new favorite snack. Hello. And like I said, they're keto-free, paleo diet, diabetic friendly, zero net carbs, and dairy free. Mm -mm 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 mm. These are good. Wow. Kaden, you want to try one? No. Okay, do you want to try a vanilla marshmallow? Okay, 100 push-ups. See if he likes it. I do like it. Mm-hmm. Not for you. Good snacks for the kids if uh, you don't want them eating high sugary product. This is great. You don't want them having caffeine. Hey, um, I mean, they're okay. Max Mallows, they also have different kinds that don't have caffeine in it for the kids, if you want kids. Max Mallow, I'd like to be a paid sponsor. So contact me if you ever watch my vlogs, because you probably won't. Maybe I'll hashtag Max what Mallow. I'll hashtag them. That's what I'll do. Anyway, so it's called No Brainer. How funny. Not a paid sponsor, duh. Anyway, we're going to say goodbye. 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 Just kidding. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoy our videos. If you do, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. I don't care. Whatever, it's your opinion. Did you guys like AEW last night? And then, uh, yeah, the street ball. Is the street ball? Well, street, you know, the, the parking lot fight, whatever you want to call it. I just can't talk. We love you guys so very much. Also, oh, 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 Alex's lemonade stand. We're nowhere clear, cl uh, we're nowhere cl close. Why can't we, why can't I talk? Nowhere near or close to our goal. But we still got time. Support Neuroblastoma Research. Help us out. We love you guys. We'll see you guys later. Ciao. Kaden. Kaden? Hurry up. Yes. Kaden. Don't forget to pick it and share. There it is. All right, bye.